welcome all of you to another video in which we are going to discuss a concept called static electricity okay we might have done this experiment many times when we rub a plastic pen with dry hair that plastic pen after rubbing with dry hair it will be able to attract a piece of paper correct or another example is like when we try to open the door of a car or when we accidentally touch somebody especially in summer season there may be a small electric shock or an electric spark that we can experience right what is the reason for this that is what we are going to explain in this small video okay we know objects materials are basically electrically neutral because they are all made of neutral atoms atoms we know the structure of an atom atom is called the basic building block of matter we have a central core for the atom called the nucleus and all the positive charge of the uh, atom will be accumulated at the center negatively charged particles are revolving around the nucleus right they are called electrons so electrons are somewhat free in the nucleus especially when we come to the outer orbits and all we know yes so these electrons are free to escape from the atom if they get enough energy right they will be jumping out of an atom an atom can release an electron when enough energy is supplied okay this is the structure of an atom and basic building block of all everything matter is atoms only therefore all materials or our object all bodies can be considered to be electrically neutral because they are made of atoms so let me consider an object a for example this is my object a it is made of electrically neutral atoms so there will be equal number of positively charged particles and negatively charged particles in it so for example these are the positively charged particles in this material and there will be equal number of negatively charged particles you know negatively charged particles so we cannot say this body doesn't have any charge it has charge but total charge in this body is equal to zero so we will say this body is electrically neutral or uncharged total charge of this body is zero equal number of positively charged particles and equal number of negatively charged particles okay then how can you charge this body we are trying to charge a body by rubbing that body with another one so let me consider one more body that is the body b for example this is my body b see b also has positive and negative charges in it see there are positive charges and there are equal number of negative charges also four positive charges and four negative charges for example so this body is also electrically neutral we know total charge in that body is also zero so both of these bodies are electrically neutral which means total charge in those body zero okay now let me keep body a and b are in contact i am going to keep a and b are in contact then i will move one with respect to the other in contact so basically i am rubbing one body with respect to the other when i rub one body with respect to the other we can say because of the frictional force between the two surfaces in contact there will be some heat energy generated that is obvious right we know whenever one body is in contact with the other in motion there will be frictional force and because of the frictional force there will be some heat energy generated okay see this heat energy will be absorbed by electrons in the material in that particular body so those electrons when they get enough energy one of the body either a or b based on their work function the body with less work function will release electron or electrons will jump out of one body to the other for example body b to body a so some of the electrons when they are kept in contact when they rub against each other some of the electrons are transferred to body a now from body b electrons are transferred to the body a i told you electrons are free to move not protons so electrons will be transferring from one body to another okay what happens then two of the electrons from the material the body b is transferred to 
body A, for example. Then two of these electrons transferred from body B to body A. So body A will get two excess negative charges, two excess electrons. So electrons are lost by body B and electrons gained by the body A. So now if you look at this, you can see there are four positive charges but only two negative charges in body B. Will it be still electrically neutral? No, because there are excess positive charge, right? Four positive charges and two negative charges, for example. Then this body, the one which lost electron, right? This body lost electrons will be positively charged. This body is positively charged. Okay, so what happened to the body A? Body A gained those two electrons. So, you know, two electrons are lost by B and those two electrons are gained by A. So, body A gained electron. So, there are excess electrons in this body A right now. Therefore, it will have a negative charge. So, the body will be negatively charged. Excess electrons. Okay, look at this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 positive charges and 8 negative charges for example, right? So, this has excess electrons, so excess uh, negative charge. So, the body is right now is not electrically neutral, both of them, B and A. Both bodies are now charged. A is charged with positive charge and B has a negative charge. So, whatever be the magnitude of the charge of A will be equal to magnitude of charge B because equal number of electrons, right? Electrons lost by the body B is gained by body A. So, they will have equal amount of charge, but one is positive. The one which lost electron will have positive charge and the one which gained electron will have negative charge. So, this is how we charge a body. We have to rub one body against the other. Then there will be heat energy generated. That heat energy will be absorbed by the electrons and they will be jumping from one body to the other. They will be transferring from one body to the other. Okay, now body B and A can be said to be charged, electrically charged. Okay, so I'll give you some example of these uh, materials A and B. For example, if you take a glass road, right, you can take a glass road. A glass road when it is rubbed with silk cloth. Glass road is rubbed with silk cloth. It is observed that electrons are jumping from, are transferred from glass road to silk cloth. Electron transfer is from glass road to silk cloth. Yes, that means we can say after rubbing, see before rubbing glass road was electrically neutral, silk cloth was electrically neutral. After rubbing one against the other, it is found glass road is positively charged, right? Positively charged because it lost electrons, deficiency of electron and silk cloth, see it gained electron. So it will be negatively charged. Yes, this is one example. And the example I started with a plastic pen rubbing with dry hair, right? There will be uh, that, that pen can attract a piece of paper because the pen by the time it will be charged. When it is rubbed with the dry hair, there is a transfer of electrons. In that pair, if you use a plastic rod or a plastic comb, a pen, whatever it may be, rubbing against dry hair, if it is rubbed against dry hair, there will be an electron transfer from one to the other. But this time it is from dry hair to plastic road or the plastic pen or the comb, whatever it may be. Okay, so this time we can say electrons flow from dry hair to plastic, which means the plastic will be negatively charged. It has excess electron, whereas dry hair will be positively charged. Right. This is how you can charge a body by rubbing it one against the other. And this process is called static electricity. It is called static electricity because electrons one transfer from the other cannot move back to the other body or it is not able to move 
within itself so it is not electricity electricity we know current electricity is a term we use for moving charges electrons are moving because of that there will be a current electricity this is called static electricity because these electrons are stationary this is way this is how we charge a body by rubbing one against the other and this process is called static electricity okay we were talking about tiny electric shocks and electric sparks but in some situation this spark can be dangerous too for example at the time of landing of an aircraft see aircraft body we know it is metal so when it is moving through air it is moving with very high speed high velocity and because of the air friction charges will be accumulated especially when it is running through the runway see we use air friction for air braking so frictional force will be maximum and there will be a large accumulation of charge on the aircraft body which may discharge to the earth during that run you know so it may discharge to the earth which may cause a spark which is highly dangerous at that time right yes so what happens you know for this to avoid such electric spark rubber tires this um, uh, aircraft tires are made of special rubber which is slightly conducting what is the advantage see when this body when, when the aircraft move through the runway charges will be accumulated right because of the static electricity charges will be accumulated okay and that charge will be instantly sent to the earth through the conducting tires you know so charges will not be accumulated no possibility of an electric star electric uh, like discharge there is no electric spark hope you all got the concept of static electricity we will meet in another video with another topic till then bye bye thank you all brilliant katha your trusted coaching partner for iit je neat science and commerce students with 10 years of excellence in quality training brilliant katha